Welcome to this video, dear learners. We'll be solving uh, 2019 mathematics. It was written in November 15th. So specifically, we're going to answer a question on cubic functions, which comes in section um, section section C or no, section B. Sorry. Uh, so this question is here. It was already graphed. Okay. The question was already graphed and this is question number 10. So question number 10 says the diagram below shows part of the graphs. So you have this uh, graph here, this is a curve, okay? And then you have this one, this one is just a line, a nice straight line. So you are able to tell, you should be able to tell just by looking at the equation itself, whether it's a curve or a line. So looking at this, y is equals to x cubed plus 2x minus 3 this tells this is a curve okay here this is yeah, this is just a straight line okay so you can see the way these are graphed okay the curve is this one here which is y is equal to x cubed plus 2x minus 1 and then you have uh, now the straight line that i was talking about is this one y is equals to 10x okay so without wasting time Let's answer the questions here. Okay, so the first question here basically says, use your graphs to solve the equations. Okay, so sometimes you will be given um, a table, you plot the graph on your own, but uh, this one here, lucky for the guys who wrote in 2019, the graph was already done for them. Okay, so use your graphs to solve the equation. So we are going to solve for question A first. And then we'll go to question B. Okay, so question A here, question A simply uh, is x, x cubed plus 2x is equal to 6. Okay, so that's what we're solving for. Okay, so for us to solve this question, let's look at the curves and the, the line. Okay, we've been given a curve and that curve it's the uh, y is equal to x to the power 3 plus 2x minus what minus 1 okay so that's what we are given eh? okay so now we want to answer this question we need to solve for this and then we solve it we're going to use the graph okay now before we do anything we need to compare first okay you notice that when you compare, let's say this is your equation one, this will be equation two. So if we compare these two equations, okay, for these two functions, you'll find that um, this part here and this part basically are the same, okay? They are the same, x cubed plus two x. Again, they have x cubed plus two x. So what we'll do, we because here we only have x cubed plus 2x but here there is a one so we need to see how we can get rid of this one first of all we're going to push this one this side okay so this is going to be y plus one is equal to x cubed plus 2x okay so now we have managed we have this and this alone nine. Eh? Now, what you can simply do, I um, hope you're not going to get confused. We are going to replace, you know, this equal sign simply means that this is equal to this. Eh? Okay. So now what we are going to do, we are going to say, okay, let's put back, let's get this equation one. Okay, we put it, uh, we put it here, x cubed, plus 2x is equal to 6, okay? So it's, this, we just, uh, here we just took the one this side and this is how we landed here. So here now, this is just the same. When you cancel this and this, this will be equal to that, y plus x is equal to 6, eh? okay? I hope I haven't confused you. Just trying to make it a, a bit more simple, okay? Though this is just a substitution that has taken place here, okay? So we can take this on the other side, okay? So if you have any question on how I've done this, maybe you didn't understand, you can still leave a question on the um, 
comment section then I'll, I'll get to you how i did that but barely basically it's just a substitution that i've done eh? so y is equal to this so you're going to have y is equal to six minus one we take back the one this side and then you have y is equal to what to five okay now that we've reached here sorry i didn't show what i was doing so now that we've reached here y there is equal to five you now go to your to your graph when we go to the graph here we notice the graph this is uh x or y plane graphs okay the two dimension so you have got y and then you've got x here so now what we've calculated so far is y is equal to five so we need to plot this y is equal to five right okay so y is equal to five we just go on the y-axis and count so you notice these how many boxes smaller boxes here okay so when you look at the smaller boxes uh, I try to zoom in. Okay, we count the smaller boxes. One, two, three, four, five. So five is here. Okay. So now, what do we do with that? Okay. What do we do with that? We draw a line. Yeah, we draw a line at this very point. Um, we just draw a first simple line like that. Okay. And we are going to label this line y is equal to 5 okay y is equal to 5 okay let me zoom out All right so y is equal to 5 is that now we are solving for this sign eh? so now where this line is actually uh, meeting um, this curve okay it's meeting this curve at this very particular point here okay so where it's meeting it at this very particular point, you just bring it down like this. So now the point you're looking at, you are looking for is this one, the X here. So you count here, this is a one. So 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, okay? So in other words, for this particular set here, we're going to say X is equal to 1.5. And that will be that will be our answer okay so for this one x is equal to 1.5 okay so what did we do okay just to review uh how we solved question a so we, this was what the question was saying solve this using the graph right? so we just substituted this part okay we had to first uh, modify this a bit eh? so i said this one here is common so you make sure that this remains alone eh? on the other side of the equation so i took the one this side now any number that crosses the cosine becomes a positive so it became one plus one is equal to this so now this i just substituted it here so this becomes y plus one is equal to six and that's how that's how we got here you can then we took the one side and y is equal to five and then that was just easy we followed the steps okay so let's go to the second one b okay so B says use the graph to solve the equations. Okay, so now we want B. X cubed plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 10x. Okay, is equal to 10x. Now, uh, this one, under normal circumstances, we were supposed to draw this line on our own. But uh, lucky enough in this question, the the everything was drawn for us okay so now let's explain how we are going to work around this right so it's just very simple and straightforward okay so we have um x cubed plus 2x uh, minus 1 is equal to 10x okay now you notice that this first part here and this other part here this is exactly what the question has given us okay you notice when you pay attention here y is equals to x cubed plus 2x minus 1 y is equals to 10x eh? okay. so in this case these two lines okay when they are equal to each other okay so meaning this one is equal to this one okay they are equal to each other because eh, they've equated this and this part okay to make what they sign they've equated them so now this one is this curve which is like this this one is the line which is like this so now where are these two 
So because they are equal, meaning where they are meeting, at this point where they are meeting, those are the figures that we are going to get, the x values for those points, okay? So when you look at your graph here, you will notice that um, you have this part here and this part where the two are meeting. So let's start with uh, this one here for the meeting point. Let me just zoom in that we can see properly. Okay, so where they are meeting here, you notice that this uh, box here, just a, a one, eh? okay, that is just a one. So when you are going backwards counting this side, uh, this will be just um, this is zero, zero point negative one, eh? okay? This is zero point negative one, or negative, sorry, negative zero point one, eh? okay? So for this one, uh, this is negative 0 0.1, okay? So write it here, x is equal to uh, negative 0 0.1. And then you go to the other point where they are meeting. So it is here. Let me just take a look at that nicely. Mm. Where they begin to meet, it's here. Okay? They meet here at this point. Okay? So we are going to just bring this down. Let me zoom out so that you see what will happen here. So we are just going to come down all the way here. Okay. So now this point here will be 2.8. Okay. So we say uh, 2.8. Eh? 2.8. Okay, so that is how we answer this one. Okay. So again, if you're not clear, maybe on some part, you can still leave a question on the comment section, but that is how we answer this one. Okay, so you get two marks for each of these. Then the other question says, calculate an estimate of the gradient of the curve at the point 2,11. So let's go on our graph. Okay, so let me just zoom a little bit. Okay, so we have uh, two. So 2,11 would be here, okay? So this is 2,11. Uh, um, it says here 2,11. So 2,11, this is 2, this is 10, 1, eh? So it is here, okay? Just one box, one smaller box here. So now what do you do at this point, okay? Here, we are just calculating an estimate. Okay, an estimate. So what we we'll do, we we'll draw a line, it, what we call a tangent, eh? a line that just touches the surface of this curve. Okay, it's called a tangent. Okay, so the line we we'll draw, we we'll call it a tangent in mathematics. So we we'll draw this line like this. Now what we we'll do, since we've drawn this line, we are just going to pick certain points along this line, and I always say that. Uh, it's better you start with the same point that you've been given, eh? the 2,11, okay? So we're going to pick this point, 2,11, and then we pick another point, okay? The other point that we can pick, uh, which looks uh, good to me here, would be, um, maybe we pick, so we're picking a point in this line, eh? we need two points, so we pick the one that you've given us, Maybe another point we can pick can be three comma um, what how many boxes are here? It would be one, two, three. Okay, so that is twenty-three, three comma twenty-three. So let's pick this one here. Okay. This would be three comma twenty-three. Okay. So now what do you do with these uh, with these uh, um, uh, points that you've picked, eh? so we are going to find the gradient. So this is going to be x1, y1, this is going to be x2, and y2. Okay, then we are just going to solve this the way we solve uh, for the gradient. So for the gradient, we say m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, x2 here happens to be 23. I mean, y2, sorry, 23. Y1 there happens to be 11. Over x2, x2 happens to be 3. 
x1 happens to be 2 okay so once we sub we subtract here we're going to have uh, 23 minus 11 okay that is very simple 22 minus 11 that will just give us the 12 okay over 1 and um, this will be simply 12 okay with the gradient so the gradient is equal to 12 okay so we say therefore the gradient not comma 11 this is just an estimate is 12 okay 12 okay so now um there's another alternative for this but i uh, wouldn't recommend this because you're going to use calculus okay uh, but you can use it you can use calculus here now if you want to use calculus here um we're going to do this okay so the the curve is equal to x to the power three plus 2x minus 1. Now remember we are told that we are estimating the gradient at which point of the curve at the point 2 comma 11. Eh? So we are going to get this same point. We are told the point is 2 comma 11. Now we want to use calculus. Okay so now first use calculus to find you are going to find the gradient function. The gradient function that is dy uh, dx is equal to. So now when you differentiate this um, okay uh we use this formula okay the power okay n stands for the power okay so if you don't know how to use this formula just uh, look out on my other video where I, I explain on this formula how to find the how to differentiate this but once you differentiate that you get 3x squared minus 2 okay so now that you have this you're now going to find okay, this is a gradient function then you're going to get the x uh, value here the x value here is 2x x is equal to 2 here so you're going to replace it here so m will be equal to 3 and then there are 2 squared minus 2 this is going to be um 3 that will give us 4 minus 2 this will give us uh, 12 minus 2 this will give us 10 so now calculus will give you the definite gradient at that particular point okay but even the one you calculated 12 is correct because the question says you are basically just finding an estimate time so even as the markers of the exam know they have a certain range that they expect you to uh, find your gradient to be high okay but uh, the first one that we did here is more recommendable on this question and uh, calculus will find the exact uh, gradient eh? okay so you can use it maybe just to see whether you are in the range okay so uh calculate an estimate of the area bounded by the curve okay so now here the most important thing is to notice your boundaries when you have your boundaries then you are safe okay so the first boundary is the curve itself okay so the curve itself so which one is the curve so the curve is this one so this is your boundary the curve is your boundary okay then the other boundary is which one y is equal to 10x y is equal to 10x is this so this is your other boundary Okay, then the other boundary is which one? Y is equal to zero. So you know y is equal to zero is just the x-axis. Eh? So the x-axis is also called y is equal to zero. Okay, so this again is your other boundary here. The x-axis. Then the other boundary is x is equal to x is equal to two. So which one is x to x is equal to is here? So this again here is your other boundary this one here so now when you have all these boundaries set you find that the area that you'll be looking for it's made for this boundary this boundary this boundary so it's just this part here okay this is the area that you want to calculate for okay this is the area that you want to calculate for sorry i wasn't showing what i was doing so this is the area that you want to calculate for 
many methods that you can go about this. Eh? But I think the easiest method that I like myself, you just look at, okay, what shape do you have here? This is a triangle. This is also a triangle. This is also a triangle, okay? We're just estimating, okay? You're not finding the exact thing. So if this is a triangle, we are going to use the formula for a right angle triangle, right? okay? For the first one here, a right angle triangle. So for a right angle triangle, um, this is the base, and then this is the height. So the base here is basically this length, right? From one to two, that is basically just a one. So one. Again here from 10 to 20, that is just basically what? 10 units, eh? Okay, we're using units here. So we've got one here, one, then here we've got what? 10, eh? Which is uh, just 10 units according to the uh, graph. So we can calculate for this. We are going to say um, area is equals to half BHI, okay? So we said the half times the base is 1, height is 10, you do this, you do that, sorry, that is 5, 1 times, so you have 5 uh, square units, okay, for well, the first one, eh? okay, so for this, then we go to this one which is down here, so here again, you have um, this one that is acting as a base, it is still 1, now we need to find the length for this, eh? So for the length for this, we just subtract one box here. So this is just basically just a nine here. That's a nine, eh? So we, that is the height, a nine. We just subtracted one box. Here we are still getting this, eh? So base is one, height is nine. So we are again going to say area is equals to half BH. So that would be half. The base is still one. The height we said it's nine over okay then um here now um two into uh nine this will give us uh, uh, basically that would be 4.5 okay times one you get 4.5 square units okay and uh, lastly we do uh, this one also this one is more like a, so this is the height now it's still nine the base we are just going to estimate for the base the base is uh, one okay We're just giving an estimate eh? so uh, there is a the base we can just take it as one yeah We're just giving an estimate eh? so nine and one so again, we're going to say half BH, same thing, uh, 1 times 9, you get 4.5. Then you just add now, 4.5, 4.5, and the 5 that we add here. So 5 plus 4.5 plus 4.5. So this will be uh, 5, 4.5 plus 4.5, you have 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so you have 14 uh, square units as your area, 14 square units there as, as your area, okay, so that's how you can do this one, though there are other methods that people use, but I think this one is a better estimate from what I think, okay, so this is what we were able to solve on this question, and um, there is another question after this one, and this question is um, B, okay, here, yeah. evaluate uh, this part, okay. okay. So we have this question, question 10B, okay, so, um, so this question is under integration, okay, it's under integration on the topic calculus, eh? okay, so whenever you see this symbol, we call this symbol the integral symbol. Okay, this is the integral symbol. It tells you to integrate. Okay, so now we have these numbers on the integral symbol. Okay, so the three, uh, we call it the three, it's called the upper limit. 
the one is called the lower limit okay so we are going to see how we can do so first of all we are just going to integrate what's inside first right so what's in the brackets you integrate it because of the integral sign that tells you to integrate so this is going to be three there one the upper limits so write them as they are then we are going to integrate this the formula is a x n plus one over n plus one plus a x n plus one over n plus one okay plus c this is the formula okay so what is n and what is x okay so here i like to take this separately so we are going to do this one the first one three x squared eh? so when you look at three x squared here a here is basically the coefficient what is the coefficient in mathematics simply the number in front of the x okay so a here is three a there is three then the n n is the power of x and that power here is two okay so when we replace them here okay we are going to say okay we have the limits here three and one so this is going to be a there it's three and then x so that will be 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay, we're now substituting. And plus, we go to this one. The coefficient, it is 4, then x. So a number that is, doesn't have anything here, we take it that it is raised to the power of 1. Eh? Okay, so that will be 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, then plus what? See there. Okay, we have the upper and the lower limit to apply this later on. Let's go for a test. So 3x, that will be the power 3 over 3 plus 4x squared over 2 plus 3. And then we're now going to do this. 3 into uh, 3, that is 1. So you remain with x cubed plus 2 into that will be 2x squared. Then now here comes the part where now we need to apply our, our, um, our what? Our upper limit and lower limit. Okay, so what we'll do, we are going to write this thing. Uh, x to the power 3 minus 2x squared. You put it in brackets and then you subtract the same thing. x to the power 3 minus 2x squared. Then you are going to apply now your upper and lower. So this one here, we will apply the upper limit here, we'll apply the lower limit. So what are we doing here? We're basically just substituting these three with x here. Okay, so if we put three here, it's going to be three to the power three minus two in brackets, there's going to be three squared. Eh? Okay. Minus this is going to be one to the power three minus two. There are one squared. Okay, like that. So now uh, this is going to be 3 to the power 3, that is 27 minus uh, 2 in brackets, 3 squared, that is 9. Okay. Minus, so this will give us 1 minus 2, 1. Okay. So this is going to be 27 minus 18. That will be 1 minus 2. Okay. Hope you haven't made any mistake anywhere. Alright, yeah. So 1 squared is just 1. Eh? So now 27 minus 18. This will give us 9 minus they are negative 1. That will be 9 plus 1, and this will basically give us the 10. And then so we are done okay so that's the answer to this question so i hope you've learned something if there are any questions please uh, leave a comment on the comment section and also press the subscribe button if you are new to this channel